Toms, this off the lightning bench, checked by Mullen, big hit thrown by Dizek, leaving his feet to throw the hit on Toms, and also catching Dvorsky, and the linesmen react quickly to get in there. Joe Dizek at 227 pounds, threw himself, and Jeff Toms and Dvorsky along the boards. Dvorsky looks like he's all right. Out of the zone, knocked away, Brenda Warren, Dizek collide, shove each other, and a penalty coming, Dizek calls it. And then Joe Dietzik, this is why he is out there. Ran again, scooting into the Ottawa zone. Down the right side, a shot by Dietzik, gets in behind. Tuck not the Penguins take a 2 0 lead. Ah, look out, Loretta. Joe Dietzik grabbed the loose puck and Moran skated in. He pushed the defense back, allowing the play to open up. And Dietzik hammered it over the right shoulder of Ron Tugnut. It's funny, but every time Dietzik has had a chance to shoot the puck like that, the puck has just jumped off his stick. Back to center. Jason York defensively for the Ottawa Senators. The trail 4-1. to Dietzik takes him against the boards into the Penguin bench area. Now Finley's going to square off with Joey Dietzik of control. Jeff Finley of the Coyotes and Joe Dietzik looking for a roll with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And a big guy who's got to use his body. The linesmen aren't going to let it go anywhere. Jay Sherris and Brad Lazarowicz are all over that tussle. Oh, look at this one. Right On over the far side, it's Steve Webb, who we talked about before. Who's he got? Is that Joe Dietzik? Looks like it's 16. Didn't get very far with it. As soon as the puck was dropped, Dietzik and he went at it. Dietzik and Steve Webb, but broke it up immediately. Camp. So they will go. Zizek was heading to the dressing room, either something in the fight or a problem with equipment as a result of it. On the break, Zizek got it up, racing in. On the far side, shot, save, rebound, Zizek scores! Zizek, right place, right time, 4-1 pins. And because he got it on his backhand, he took a weak little chip shot right here on Show. Right back to Joe Dietzik and Joe, even you can't miss from there, bud. And Dietzik tipped it in right in front of the net. Dietzik just came out of the penalty box. He had a minor penalty. He comes out, follows it up right in front of the net, and Joe Dietzik has his first career National Hockey League playoff goal. Dijic did the right thing. He went right in front of the net. We had it early in this game. Or now it's Dennis Peterson. I'm sorry. Dennis Peterson and Joe Dijic. Much thrown yet. Dijic comes in at Dennis Peterson. He's trying to swing with that left hand as his helmet uh, pulled up around his neck, and the linesman quickly step in now separate the two. Uh, Redden came over and played him. He put the elbow into his face. Then he turned and socked him one right in the kisser. Knocked him to the ice with his gloves off. Totally jumped him. I mean, he just he went crazy is what he did. Redden really didn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't play that real well. Is that Dijic who threw it in front? That's the second time in three games that Joe Dijic has made a play by stealing the puck behind the net from the goaltender. He set up Alex Hicks with a goal, you remember, the other night against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And now he helps Stu Barnes get a goal here to tie the game at three. Right in front for Dizik with the pass roll behind him. Penguins pick it up anyway. And for Christian, the Dizik kicks at the puck. Loose around the net. Hicks battling it. Dizik there, and he can't feather it over to Jeff Christian. Well, this is a line that'll work down low for you, and they'll work hard. Dizik shooting and scoring! Joe Dizik! The Penguins earned that goal. They just outworked the Sabres on that play. And they lead 4-2. to two. Dizik the goal getter. The Penguins up by two. And you can scratch my back with a hacksaw. Joey D. We're clear of the zone. Mike Richter helping himself with a rolling puck. Centering pass. Richter jams it away. Deflected by the Yager. He scores! Moved to some coverage, but nobody moved over here to Yager. Yager. Brian Smolinski actually tried to shoot that, and Yago was able to intercept it, the one that was going wide, sharp angle shot. A little drop pass, gets it to Barnes. He's got Mullen, he's got the puck, and he shoots it. That was uh, deflected again. It goes behind him. Dietzik with a right round. He's up there. Dietzik scores the Penguins tie. Joe Dietzik has scored the Penguins' third goal, and they make it 3-3. Oh, Michael, Michael motorcycle. Dietzik would not be denied. Boy, this line has been outstanding for the Penguins here tonight. Really, really good. 
one changing up behind him as Barnes caps it in behind the goal. Now Joe Deeds it gets it away from Schwab. They score. Hex caps it in. He had the gimme in front with Schwab trapped back of the net, and Pittsburgh leads four to one. Watch as Corey Sharps trying to keep the play, and then all of a sudden, very quickly, Deeds is right there, and there's Hicks in front. The Vancouver Real Estate. Settling, a coin tried to clear. Barnes took it away to Dizik. Wide open, slam shot. He shoots and scores. Joe Dizik from 30 feet. Set up by Barnes, and the Penguins lead two to one. Now call Arnold slick from Turtle Creek. Joe Dizik. And Joe Dizik now has a goal in each of his last four games. He's red hot. And here we go. As Joey Dizik squares away with Clayton Meadows, the two rookies are slinging punches. Joey D trying to land an uppercut down there, and Clayton Beddoes does not know what to do. It's Joe Dietzik, a former all-everything in almost every sport in high school in Minnesota, comes up with that look. You want to go again, Clayton? Mixing it up, Joey D popped him and stopped him, and a little bit later on might have dropped him. Broken out of traffic, and the Penguins turn it away. Peter Nedman leads the rush. Now for Joey Dietzik. Here comes Joey D. Scores! Joe Dietzik powers it in. That is his third NHL goal. And the young man from Northeast Minneapolis has turned on the red light again. Joe Dietzik gives the Penguins the early going. Way to go, Joe. It's 1-0 Pev. Joey Dietzik, his third goal of the year. If you believe in four tenths, every one of his goals has been a game winner. Yes, I want to give credit, though, to Glenn Murray. Here's the shot, and Murray cleans up his own end. Look at the play that Murray Very makes, nice. and he sends Nedved out of the zone. Now, that's something, and Murray should get an assist, but you just can't calculate how big it is to clean up the rebounds, clean up your own zone. In fact, Murray did Zuboff a favor because Zuboff was too high on the play. Murray came back and cleaned up for Zuboff and gets an assist, which eventually leads to a goal. Yeah, to put an exclamation point on it, they want to finish first, no doubt about it, because they are a much better team on home ice. Hey! Oh, nice play by Joe Dietzik. Dietzik took the puck away deep in the Tampa Bay end. Let's see if it pays off. Beats Lemieux behind the net. Patrick Kulado picks it off, and Tampa Bay should clear the puck. They do. Good coverage right there. Excellent hit by Joe Dietzik, though. Joe Dietzik, his teammate. Excellent football player. As an amateur in Minnesota. Terrific. Used the shoulder the whole way. Ouch. Clean hit on Brian Bradley. Good play by Joe Dietzik. Back the other way, Brad Lauer. Lauer recently called up from... Cleveland in the International League where he was on loan from Ottawa. Yager again. Yager has Dietzik on his left side. Gets it to Joseph. Joseph. Great pass. Shot. Score! It is 1-0 Pittsburgh. Joe Dietzik with the goal. Washington struggling at their own blue line. This one falls all apart for them from the blue line in and the heads up play by Dizek just to go to the net. Pittsburgh takes big time advantage of it. You can see it's the turnover there in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh coming late on the play. There's Dizek all alone. The Capitals trying to recover. Perfect shot by Dizek. First goal of the year comes at 13-21. His first NHL goal, Joe Dizek. And it is 1-0 Penguins. Have an altercation, Adam Burt and Joe Dietzik. Another young player for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Adam Burt and Joe Dietzik now with 2.58 left to go in the period. Well, a chance to release some frustration out through the end of your fists a little bit. I would think from Adam Burt, sense, and Dietzik, a big, strong boy. Dietzik uh, knocking uh, Gordon Murphy's helmet off. There you see the roughing call. We have it right here. That's not enough. That's not enough. One more shot, maybe. Yep, one more. All of that wasn't enough. That was right in the view of referee Paul Dvorsky. Tipped away from DJ. Played by Lindsay. And it's out of the zone. Muni backhanding it. Oh, there's a hit on Lindsay from DJ. These have been very, very active in the physical department today for the, or tonight for the Pittsburgh Penguins. You know what? I think that uh, 
the way Bill Lindsay reacted, maybe you're right, Jim. Maybe it is has something to do with the extra little shots everybody's giving each other after the whistle. Another shot by Dietzik. Under normal conditions, you'd see Bill Lindsay get right back up and get into the face of that player. He did not. Again, I'm just wondering if Doug's told the guys to kind of keep it cool. Which the Wagers continue to pressure. They want to score. Deezy coming on the play. Right on to the Wagers in. A broken stick. Wesley's a leave stick. Prong run over by Deezy. Deezy has the puck. And what's the call? A holding call against the against Joe Deezy. Looked like he slashed Wesley, but I think he actually took a shot at his stick in the neutral zone. And then Joe Deezy lugging that puck, trying to fight his way through a check. Knocked Cron down and took a penalty. He stiff armed him and got a penalty for stiff arming. Holding. That's a weird. He had the puck. I mean, that's a, that's a weird call there. Very strange call. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, we'll work out here with Joe Dietzik and Glenn Murray. The puck up to the left side to Dietzik. Drop past the Barnes. Wrist shot. That missed the net. And dumped off the left wing side now to Primo. <coughs> Fight breaks out back in the Hartford in. Joe Dietzik and one of the Wailers to the left of the net. I'm not sure who the Wailer player it is. It might be Adam Burt. It's Gerald Dittick. Those Dittick. two got involved in front of the net. Uh, Dietzik just went to the net as he has been doing so well for the Penguins and just kind of took position there. And Dittick started hammering him and Dietzik turned around and gave him a couple of shots back and eventually they just dropped the gloves and squared off. Did not as he just got leveled. Zizek got a piece of him. Leaf line very aggressive in the forecheck. You see all three forwards are down low on the play. Dizza goes in and really nails Galley as Hicks was kind of feeling back to make sure he got into good defensive position. Dick say uh, Dizza able to finish his check against Gary Galley and knock him flying. Back into the zone, didn't do anything with it. Picked up on the boards. Dizza trying to catch St. Louis in a change. Get shot. Dietzik to cross and drop. Now the great chip off the glass, which you point out, <laughs> good as we'll catalog the injuries for you from the Whalers and Penguins side in just a sec. Puck is cleared in, and Benin was really hit in the neutral zone. Now the Penguins get started once again. And then what a hit here by Dietzik on Kevin. Kevin, all his weight going right back on his rear end. Lemieux down in behind the goal. Yager looking for room, got around Doug Waite. Yager comes over, skating on Kevin Lowe, the 37-year-old defenseman, watching Yager shoots it. Where is it? Stop on the hand. Rebound. Stop. Well, that loose puck and bangs it home. And the Penguins lead two to nothing. No, no, Eddie Spaghetti. Anaheim's had their problems in that direction, and it seems every year somebody goes through that. Chance in front, and they score! Right off the faceoff in front. Joe Dietzik gets the goal. Joe Dietzik just gets alone in front of the net. Nobody picks him up. It, here's the faceoff. They'll go down in the corner. Dietzik will just go to the front of the net. Good work by Thomas Sansom. Yeah. Strips the puck. Gets it out to Dietzik. Thank you very much. Here, here we go. There's Barnaby now mixing it up back in the Pittsburgh zone. Barnaby and Dietzik are trying to get their arms free to get some punches in there. Barnaby loses his hat. Now Barnaby kind of get his arm free. More Pittsburgh now. Smolinski to Miranoff. To Dietzik. And Dietzik's got a goal. It's 4 2 Pittsburgh. Gonchar is back for it for Washington. A collision in front of Olaf Pulsier. No damage done. Wow, there was some damage done. Dietzik ran Hunter. Pretty good. Have a listen to this. in the first three in the regulation. Oh, man. Amy, there goes your head. Check your fillings after that one. Make sure your laces are still done up. He's made himself a presence in this series. He did. Juno is being held at bay by Nedman and could not play the puck. And now out comes Miron off for the pen. It went skipping like a stone on a flat lake past Smolinski. Dietzik turns and pulls free of Gonchar. But you just see things from him that you really like. He just ran right over Sergei Gonchar down oh. the corner. Game four back here in Landover Wednesday night. We'll have it for around the Boateng, which stood up by Dietzik. Good hit. And the play is back in You center. could just see all the Penguins on that last play, that last rush. Everybody that was on the ice was looking around, their head on a swivel, finding the people away from the puck. And that's why the Washington Capitals didn't get a sniff. Dietzik and Tenorti. Tenorti really working 
keeps it going along the corner. Play is allowed to continue, and finally we get a whistle. Let's do it again to the left wing corner. A weak group. Penguins finally break the skein, and Billing can have going against them. Joey Mullen of the Penguins with a turning. Looking, he's got a great chance. He sets the score. Point Snow gets back, Kasparain is shot, he just got back and knocked it away. Dykhouse with it, and he clears it out. Hey, Craig Patrick wants to keep this momentum.